Hello, Chip Dippers, and welcome to another episode of Lady Fractic's Retro Recipes. Today, we are taking a transparent look into a craze that defined a few decades of our beloved tech, starting from the colorful 80s to the bold and ambitious 2000s, or as Perry Fractic likes to call them, the naughties. So fasten your nostalgia goggles, because we're about to see through the clear craze. of transparent. In case you missed the announcement in our most recent monthly video, The Retro, the Retro Show, Show, yes, there is something different about me. I got a haircut. And of course, we're expecting Baby Fractic later this year. Exciting times, but what exciting stuff was happening 40 years ago? Picture it, the 80s. Neon leg warmers, big hair, and that's just Perry Fractic. But something else was catching the eye of tech enthusiasts around the globe. Transparent cases. Before we determine if the clear crease is coming back today, companies back then realized that hiding the inner workings of their electronic devices just wasn't cutting it anymore. The era of concealing the magic behind a wall of plastic was over, my friends. It was time for the world to see what was cooking inside. We're gonna start about 50 years earlier where it all began. In 1933, the introduction of plexiglass allowed companies to expose the electromechanical components inside their products. And with that, at the 1939 New York World's Fair, the Pontiac Deluxe six-engine ghost sedan with a clear plexiglass body made its debut. The trend had its hills and valleys for the next 20 years, but really took off again in the 80s. I think the first widely popular product was the Unisonic 6900 clear telephone in 1987. This neon flashing clear communication device truly had people hanging on every call. Everyone I knew had one and it was sure to get you cool points with friends who'd come over. Around the same time, we also had transparent cassette players and radios to take on the go so everyone could see how cool we were but things were about to evolve. Let's head to 1989, when the Nintendo Game Boy Transparent Edition first came into our lives. This was the game changer that took the phrase playing on the go to a whole new level. And the clear case? That was the window into the heart of Nintendo's flourishing game revolution. And they struck gold again with their Game Boy Color clear case almost a decade later in 1998. It's wonderful how you can see all the inner workings, including that beautiful PCB. Just like the ones you can have manufactured at PCB Way, starting at just $5. They even offer 3D printing of 3D resin cases like the bread bin one Perifractic teased recently and will be showing off very soon. Because as we all know, PCB stands for Perifractic's Clear Box. Doesn't it? <laughs> but things got strangely a bit Busy cow just before that. Bad joke? Okay. In April of 1992, Pepsi tried to make it clear that they were hip with the cool kids with Crystal Pepsi, only to have the product considered one of the biggest failures ever by a small rag called Time Magazine. You see, Pepsi had boasted that Crystal Pepsi was free of preservatives or caffeine, which sounds great. But at the time, Pepsi-Cola was already free of preservatives and came in a caffeine-free version. So people quickly realized they weren't being as transparent as it seemed. Did you have to fart? <laughs> but forget our stomachs. Even our wrists weren't spared from the craze. Beginning around 1996, companies like Casio and Swatch all came out with their own versions of transparent watches. Yes, the 90s made it crystal clear. It was transparency time. Hold up. We can't talk about the clear craze without acknowledging that one of the pioneers of this transparency revolution was none other than Apple. In 1998, Johnny Ive unleashed the iconic iMac G3 upon the world. And boy, did it turn heads. With its colorful translucent shell coming in a variety of flavors, from blueberry to tangerine, it screamed, look at me, I'm trendy, and was a clear departure from the beige box we had reluctantly come to accept as home computers. Indeed, I've said that this product was his greatest achievement while at Apple. Hmm, it's odd Apple wasn't one of the flavors. And what do you put in those iMacs? Well, cool discs, of course. That's actually really cool. Oh, does it taste good? This was soon followed by the iconic iBook clamshell, affectionately known as the toilet seat for more potable, uh, portable computing. 
And that nomenclature inspired many companies' naming schemes, including Ismo Limited, co-founded by a certain perifractic whose wind-up hands-free cable tidies and snakebite Nokia joysticks came in flavors like crystal clear, lemon, and spearmint. Mmm. With Apple's beauty established and influencing the industry, we fast forward to the noughties, when Nintendo and Microsoft decided to dip their toes into the clear waters with Nintendo's fantastic line of colorful, transparent N64 consoles and Microsoft's special edition Crystal Xbox, free of caffeine, released in 2004. Gaming had never been so transparently tempting, and we loved it. But new technologies had emerged and they had to join in after all. So around the same time, mobile phones joined the trend. Remember the Nokia 3310 or the 5110 with their express on clear covers? And even though pagers started to die out, Motorola came out with their clear colorful ones to try to stay in the game. So why this clear obsession? Why did we fall head over heels for these see-through sensations? Was it merely a fad or did it tap into our deeper desires to understand and literally see how things work. As we reflect on this clear craze, it's evident that these devices tapped into our collective desire for transparency. From politics to corporations, from personal relationships to our technology, we crave people just being transparent with us. Just like our 80s to 2000s transparent tech, we wanted to see what was happening inside all manner of things. We wanted to feel more connected, more involved. These clear cases were more than just a design choice. I really think they reflected on a social aspiration. So to my earlier question, is the clear craze firmly back with us? For obvious reasons, I feel like we're back to wanting that exact same sentiment. Companies are realizing that. After all, every dead trend becomes trendy again if you wait long enough. Case in point, currently on the G-Shock website, they're advertising an almost identical version of the original transparent watches in this metallic, colorful, and cool, sexy gold face stating clear translucent material gives the watches a refreshing summery look. Last year, Pepsi tried to bring back Crystal Pepsi for its 30th anniversary. I'll let you guess how that went. Active on Kickstarter are a few products like It's Real selling this fascinating transparent Bluetooth transmitter cassette player with the tagline, the romantic combination of analog with digital technology, or the stunning injection molded clear cases available from MacFX for the Apple IIe or the Macintosh SE. And of course, the countless modern clear PC towers available from hundreds of companies on AliExpress Alibaba, or anywhere else beginning with Ali. And let's not forget some of the items that we've bought here at Retro Recipes, like the transparent official Commodore C64 case from our friends at iConf.de, C64 cartridges, and more. Even the official Nintendo Switch Pro Controller is transparent. So here's to the clear craze, not from the 80s to the 2000s, but from the 1930s to here and today, a window to our past that resonates to the now. In a world full of opaque mysteries, sometimes all you need is a bit of transparency. And that craze may have started as a tech trend, but I think it ended up being a reflection of what we all really need today more than ever before. Not just from computers, cars, and phones, but from government, our fellow man, and Goliath corporations too. Except Pepsi. As we wrap things up, one thing above all else seems clear to me. In all of our modern sophistication and our advancements, we're still just children wanting to sneak a peek inside of our toys. Thanks for watching Retro Recipes, where the past is always present, clear as crystal, and always what you make it. Subscribe and support below and cheerio. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. <laughs>